kid. I never read the comics. No Capcom, no Marvel, nah. See, I have more of the uh, holy ensemble. I looked at the Bible's light and graphical shading. Pinpointed lines of symmetry and juxtaposition with dialogue and cheesy legends. I painted images in my frontal lobe. Iconic characters of glory with Moses-like powers with Aquaman and Job. Well, Job, he was someone you could depend on. Like, if God was Batman, he'd be a keen mixture of Alfred and Robin. <laughs> I constructed and critiqued sample-sized scriptures, added pictures, and threw capes on God's men. God's prophets, then. Thought of the potential profit generated through selling hope and religion. See, this one time, I thought I was Jesus. <laughs> Christian crusader, no cape. I found an escape through blessing others with, with messages of love and hope tucked away into my utility belt. See, my grandmother told me that even the most helpless men can be God's angels, therefore thou shalt give what one can. But now, once and again, I barely give an eternal damnation anymore. I sinned hard and still thought that I was Jesus. It's because I've been crossed by the people I love, see. And I've been stoned to get high and be next to God. But even in a life with no sins attached, you stand next to no chance of ever getting grace with his presence. No matter how fast Superman is, he can't be everywhere at once. I looked at atheists like... Lex Luthor using non-belief like kryptonite to get close to him. I used to believe in the chicken before the egg until sinners cracked shells open fire on my block and killed God's most blessed. Infants and children they never even got a chance to taste real words or communion or blessings. I saw a beam of light through bullet holes in homes, not Holy Ghost and people. I've seen Hell's replica on Woodward with sins sweet like sugar season and the streets with cane like crack. Cane that the elderly used to beat the greedy in need of that superhero I once looked up to, scribbled into scriptures in the book of Jesus, where God or whoever I'm supposed to pray to again. I keep trying to remember to pray, but my instinct as the devil's prey is in praising the appraisal fees I have to pay once and again. When scientists dwell, I find it easier to believe and not believe in when there's no proof that God even exists. Cliche Christian mentality, I know, and I try to find an effort in breathing, but in seasons like this, we need reasons to believe that the pastors don't feed us poison on pulpit podiums. I need more of a reason to even wake up. But that don't make me heathen. Don't make me atheist. Don't make me kryptonite. There's too much struggle on concrete jungle block. It rains too much. No signals in the bat sky. It's gray, so I don't look up for our Father. Thank you.